Hello everybody, this is Alex from Nisbet here, and today we're going to be going over adding special order items onto quotes or sales orders. Um, so to start, we're going to be using our best practice of starting with a quote. Select quote up here in the ribbon, add your customer, and of course add a Falcon reference if you need it, and then the job address. <clears throat> And so to add a special order item to this quote, we're going to come down here and we're going to have a lot of special order SKUs that we're going to use so that we can get sales analysis per special order. And it's going to be done at the fine line level and I'll provide you guys with a list of these special order generating or purchase order generating SKUs. Um, but just for an example, we'll use SO meaning special order and we'll do molding. The search function in BizTrack, you'll see that I just typed in SO mold. And if I hit enter, it's going to pull up anything that's close to SO molding. So I know that some of these SKUs are a little long, um, but the search function in BizTrack makes it very easy to search for. So let's say I'm going to use this clear pine molding. I'll select OK. And in this window, you can add a description if you want. Let's say special molding. And then you're going to move down here to buy price. We're not going to worry about sell price because this is going to be automatically calculated based on the entered buy price right here. So this is what we care about. And let's say I'm going to get these for $10 each. Probably a lot, but $10 each. So we're going to select next. And remember, this is per special order product, if that makes sense. So this is $10 a piece per each. So we'll go next and finish. You'll see that it calculates this special price. Your pricing is already set for you. You're going to select OK. And there you have it. That is how you're going to put a special order product on the order. <clears throat> and so you'll move up here to complete the quote. It'll obviously want the follow up, just date and time. Obviously, you can set that to whatever you want and complete, no delivery charge, and finish. Quote to 20, do not want to print. We'll load up the quote page again, and we're gonna open it up. Let's go ahead and accept this to an order. Let's assume that everything here is correct. So we'll accept this to an order, just as we have in previous videos. And we're going to go ahead and complete this. <clears throat> no delivery charge, obviously. And then you'll notice that it's going to want some information about this purchase order regarding the special order on the order. So we're going to go up here, and we need to select our supplier. You'll do that by hitting this button here. If you click this line, this button will come up. Let's say we're going to do punch. You can search by supplier number if you have that, or you can search by name. Both will work. We'll hit continue. Now I do not want to per or print. We're going to go back into our sales order here. Just to make sure that everything is working. And it is. You'll notice that it is waiting for stock. And that is because it is waiting on that purchase order. So now depending on who is responsible for making the actual purchase itself, uh, if it's order entry, you can come in here. And this applies to purchasing, obviously, too. And if you forgot your PO number, let's go back into sales order. We know that this is our sales order number up here. I think it was, right, this 1675. We are going to go to related documents. And there's our PO right there. We'll go ahead and open it. And when we're ready to send this out, we're going to hit complete. And then you're going to have the option to email this. To whomever, of course. Um, this is the contact that's just listed as default. Uh, and then best practice is probably to CC yourself to make sure that this has gone through. So we'll go ahead. Actually, let's complete this order. We don't have email set up right now for obvious reasons because this would actually send an email to this person if we completed it. So I'll hit cancel and next. And let's say we're finished. No. And there you have it. Until this is received, the special order product, 
this will be in waiting for stock, at which point it will turn over to picking and proceed as a regular order. And that concludes special orders in BizTrack.